Hey guys, and welcome to another one of the Stoke City episodes. So welcome to episode number 7, I think. Today's going to be the second part in the transfer window, and some big things to come in today's episode, including big games, and hopefully a few new signings as well. Before we get into the first game and the first transfer, possibly, of today's episode, if you guys could smash a like on the video, uh, that'd be absolutely incredible. Let's go for over a thousand likes on this episode, for another episode of this series, hopefully later on today. And also, considering Arsenal, they played a few nights ago for you guys watching this now. They are, for me, they have no chance. But is this a good thing for them or is it a bad thing? Like Maybe it's going to knock the confidence of the players. It could be seen as a good thing because now they have uh, no concentration on the Champions League. They can go for the league and like maybe it could work out that way. So leave a comment down below and in for the team you support in the Champions League. Uh, look, do Chelsea have a chance? Do Man City have a chance? Uh, leave a comment down below. But anyway, since the last episode, I've simmed a few uh, days in the transfer window and I've got a few messages back. So the first one is the, co the contract has been accepted for Mark Bartra, aka my lookalike. And the, a comment in the last episode got 30 thumbs up, so that confirms it. Uh, so that's the first thing. The second thing is going to be a transfer for, for a player that's doing nothing. It's Marko Anatovic, so it's £8 million. And I'm not going to accept £8 million, but I'll go ahead and counter for 15 And I know Liverpool have a bit of money, so maybe uh, they'll go ahead. No idea whether I want him, but let's see if they, they actually offer the money. So now I'm off here for Hosselu. And another one I wanted to accept, so because he's not really uh, doing much for us at the moment, so off he goes off to Everton. And also, I didn't really think this was worth showing in the last episode. Basically, Stephen Ireland has gone to West Ham, 1.6 million added on to the budget. But the big question is, do we go for uh, Mark Bartra or do we uh, wait for a better centre-back? And I think the, the answer is yes, we're going to go for him because... Five million pounds, 80 rated at 25 years old. So let's go for it. There we are. And we still have five million pounds and maybe a bit more money if Anatovic goes off to Liverpool. So there we go, guys. Mark Bartra, welcome to Stoke City. And it fits the system, really, because, of course, he's a Barcelona player. Doesn't really play too much. And he fits the team. So there we go. And he'll replace Volscheid in that back two. And that is looking a lot better now. I can finally say goodbye to this guy as well. What has he got? Pace, 50 acceleration. 52 sprint speed, I've never seen that before. I should have looked before, but he was shocking. Well, like, he was solid, but his pace let him down. So we've got uh, two quick centre backs now, of course, draw cross, probably the player of the season so far. And of course, our new Barcelona signing. It's telling me that Arsenal have got Thiago, nearly £30 million. And he's a player I was trying to get, of course, because he was in he's such a massive part of my Southampton series. But anyway, he has now gone to Arsenal. So Bernat, I made an offer last episode of, I think, £9 million or £8 million. And we're going to go one final offer of nine and a half million because I really want this guy because we're playing this new three of the back formation with two win backs. He'll be perfect in that new formation. It's now time for the first game of today's episode. It's now time for a home game versus Norwich City and we've dropped to seventh place. But the good news is a few teams above us, like so Arsenal, uh, Man City as well, played a few games in extra. So if we win this game, we go back into the top four. Maybe even, yeah, we go third or fourth. We go fourth. That's incredible. So let's try and get a win here against 18th place Norwich and we could put ourselves back into contention. Right, back at home again here against Stoke City. Let's not try and get destroyed again because Arsenal completely smashed us. Good start there from Roberto. Right, come on. Now it goes to Boyan. Can he use his talent to go inside? Runs into the player. Can find Sal. He's going to shoot first time, but it's saved by Ruddy. Right, here come Norwich. Bartra does well. Bits in, in Bacani. It saves again, but goes wide for Matt Jarvis. But Bartra's first touch nearly resulted in a Norwich goal. We're lucky there. Oh, what a pass. Juve is now thrown goal and it's blocked off by Bennett. But how did that find Juve? And how did he not finish it? But we still got ourselves a corner again. We had to take one of these chances. Like, but, uh, what's it? Arsenal all over again. The right, ball's going to go out here. Roberto's got a bit of space to shoot. Blocked off again by Ruddy. We just can't find this first goal. Juve in the air again here, but he's not got there. Oh, we've lost it again. It's poor. Naismith in the middle. He's gone past. What a tackle there from Roberto. What a tackle that was. We're doing all right so far. We're just not taking our chances. And the same story with Norwich as well. They've had their chances. They just can't take them. So in the second half, we just need to take the chances and we score. Simple as that. It's just, can we take these chances? Boyan picks it up again. Goes through to Mbula. He must score here. And Mbula has done it again. We have taken the lead versus Norwich City. Who would have think, who would think that Mbula scores so many important goals? He's done it again, but Bojan and Mbula, the two main players going forward, have connected again. What a pass from Bojan and a great finish off his left foot. This is where we have problems. Naismith's got quality and he shoots. And Butler's got quality and he saves it. Simple as that. Oh, my God, Volshite, you've let me down here. Right, Mbukani's got pace. 
He finds Ryan inside. Kennedy again using defensive qualities. And he's got it away as well. Well played again. We could have a second here. Shakiri just too pacey. And is anyone coming in? I can see a player there. It's Kennedy. Might as well shoot this time. It's saved. And luckily for them, they don't. there's no one to get there. Still time to go for Norwich though. That's a decent ball in. Well defended. What is that from Bartra? And Limbicani scored it. What is Bartra doing passing it that way? I passed it forwards. Yet he passed it to Mikani. What is he doing there? So Norwich got the goal back. They don't deserve it. But we have to try and get a goal now. And how long do we have left? We've got six minutes. We have to score. Kennedy wins it back. Goes to Boyan. Oh my god. How lucky is that? Go on Mbula. There we go. Look at that power. Right. Oh he loses it though. And Sal can't get there either. Like this is a so annoying. We've tried to get a goal back. But there goes the full time whistle. I could not get the ball off Norwich. And it finishes as a 1-1 draw. So not the best of results, but still not too bad. We played decent, but we conceded a stupid goal, which should have been avoided. I made a small offer for Berahino. I did have a chance early on in the transfer window to try and sign him. Uh, this time I made a £4.5 million offer. So first of all, a transfer off here for Shawcross. Comes from Sunderland, and he's my captain, so he's not going anywhere. But more importantly, West Brom comeback has said they will want, want £8.5 million which is a lot. So we'll go in maybe between and go with five million pounds. I do have enough money to maybe move the wage budget, but I don't want to go over six million. So there we go. And finally for, uh, for what's it, uh, Juan Bernat, uh, they, maybe I could offer Peters, is he good enough? I'll just uh, quickly check. But none of my players are really good enough to warrant a swap deal for one of Bayern Munich's best young players. Uh, so I think for now, maybe next season, I'll go for Juan Bernat. So again, West Brom have rejected the offer. I'm just having a look through some of the players. I can't find Pretty Crouch because he's retiring, obviously. But I'm thinking either Anatovic or Mame Juf. And the more valuable player to the team is Juf. Uh, but basically, Anatovic, like I've had like glimpses of him actually doing stuff. So I'm going to start off with just a straight swap offer for Juf, plus zero pounds, of course. And let's just see what they say to that. So let's go with zero pounds. Plus my main juice, so basically a swap for swap deal, same rating, six years in between them, because obviously Berahino is only 22, and we'll see if this happens this time. And this time they have accepted the offer, so there we go, it worked out, and he wants 45,000 a week, which won't affect us now, so there we go. Uh, four years, and he'll be an important first team player. Like, this is a good thing, because Juve has been there, but he's not really done much, so maybe Berahino is a player we need. He's got exactly what we need as well. His best two stats are his acceleration and his finishing, so... That's exactly what we need. And there it is, guys. So the contract has been accepted for Saido Berahino. And this time, I'm not going to think about it. He's coming. So there we go. Berahino is our big money signing for the transfer window. Welcome to the club. That's now two big signings. Uh, obviously, Mark Bartra, a bargain. And now Berahino for zero pounds plus. A player that's he's our best striker, but at the same time, he's not doing much. And I'll just show you what I mean. So 85 acceleration. And you go into his finishing, 82 as well. And this guy is 76 rated and gets up to around about 85. And imagine his finishing by that age. And if it doesn't work out, we'll have enough money next year to buy the perfect striker if he doesn't. But I have faith in this guy. He's English as well, so he fits the, the bill for what players are going for. So it could work out. As my camera runs out, great. But there we go. Berahino is signed. Let's now move on. What? So Neymar's gone to buy Munich for 88.5 million pounds. I think that's the most money I've ever seen spent. Neymar never moves as well. I've, I've never seen him move from Barcelona. £88 million. And to think he's probably worth more than that in real life. That's incredible. So we're now into the final hour of the transfer window. Neymar has got the most or the top deal of the transfer window. Amazing. £88.5 million. And as I say, that's Southern up to 80 rated as well. So I think there's only, what, one player left? Two players now. Maybe three. Okay, three players left till we're all at 80 squads. So that is... Incredible. Everyone's over 80 as well, so we're building a really solid team. And the good thing is, everyone's working together and everyone has a similar kind of rating. Time for Everton, another home game. They're in seventh place, we're in fifth. Let's hope for another win in this game and just forget about that Norwich draw because we should have won that game. Right, here we go, guys. Time for game number two of today's episode. Of course, another debutant, of course, is Berahino. So let's see what he can do. And I've got good hopes for this guy. Right, Kennedy open here. So much space here. Can Kennedy now finish it? They say by the goalie and Bula's there. He just can't get it goalwards. We're just missing the chances at the moment that we should be really taking. Right, Sal has opened this up. Go on, Berahino. Get on your bike. There he goes. Berahino now through on goal. This could be his first goal, but it's saved. I should have taken it closer. That's my mistake. And damn, I should have scored there. Right, this could be good for us. Shakira with the ball in. Into Kennedy. And it's just over the bar. Berahino got, I think, highest there. 
unlucky there, but at least he's making chances, which is a step up already from, of course, Mame Juf. Right, with two central, there's so many players in the middle. Here he goes, though. Ben Berahino, one more on to Mbula. One more now onto Boyan. Instead goes out to Kennedy. We could have a chance here. Berahino, and it's cleared away, but Berahino's decent in the air. And Bula hasn't got a touch, though. But come on, we have to take these chances. Here we go again. And Bula's got the pace and power. Still going. And Bula to shoot, and saved again. Is it down to my shooting, or is it just my players just can't shoot? We get it back, though. Berahino's going to try and cut in. Not really much space. Goes to Sal. Kennedy on the wing, but that's the wrong pass. We just Maybe it's too much build-up. I'm not sure. All, all the thing I can tell is that we are dominating against one of the best teams, Everton. So we just need to take this into the second half, and we'll hopefully score. Right, 26 yards out. This could be the big goal here. Shakira to take it, and it's saved again by Tim Howard. This guy's not that good in real life. How is he saving these, these chances we're having? We had so much, six shots in total. Here's Shakiri again, maybe. It goes into Mbula. That's a penalty. There we go. Finally, Everton have given up on defending. Who was that? Funes Morris just dived in. You know what? Berahino's going to take here. I'm going to give it to our new striker. We just need to get him goals. We're going to go to the left. And Berahino gets his debut goal. What a fantastic fairy tale that is. Let's go to the camera. And it's 1 0 versus Everton. Yeah, Shakiri. Battles to get the ball back and we can get it back to him. And he's got pace on the defenders. Maybe not Stones, but definitely Barry. Cuts back inside. Berahino in the middle. This could be two. And Berahino gets his second goal. Again, my camera runs out or something happens. But 2 0 versus Everton. Silo Berahino. Welcome to Stoke City. Full time whistle has gone. It finishes as a 2 0 win versus Everton. One of the best performances probably of the season. And you know what made the difference? It's that man, Silo Berahino, because we played so well through the pitch. Then we got to the striker. We now have someone who can score goals. And Berahino gets his first two goals in his Stoke City shirt. Uh, that is going to be the end of today's episode. If you guys have enjoyed it, then to smash a like on the video. Uh, leave a comment down below with a question today, as I mentioned earlier, about Arsenal and all the Champions League stuff. Uh, but that is about it for today's episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.